Hey guys, Noah here. Welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, welcome to my channel. Definitely go ahead and subscribe to my channel before you leave here today. But today we have such a fun, exciting video. It's going to be my pothos propagation video. All this in front of me are propagations that I already had and I labeled them so I'll let you guys know exactly when I propagated them, how they're looking now. I will also show you guys how to propagate because I have another pothos. It's right here. I'm gonna be propagating this and I'm so excited because I was waiting for it to grow a little bit longer so that it could trail and have some great notes. So I'll show you guys how to find those so that you could propagate it. I'm so excited. So let's get into the video. So I'm going to bring you guys a little bit closer and show you guys what's going on. So I want to show you guys my pothos pictus and this plant looks like this. Oh, you're gonna need some sort of scissors or pruning shears and figure out where exactly you want to cut it. So I think I wanna cut this one off because this one is just very bizarre. I'm just gonna cut it right there. And what else? I think that's all I'm gonna cut from this guy, but I'm gonna show you guys how to propagate this. All right, so these right here are all nodes and that's where the roots grow. So this one has a bunch of nodes as you can see and a node is basically where like the leaf comes off of So anytime you just see a leaf you just follow it and then there should be a node right there So let's try that. So here's a leaf. We're gonna follow it and look there's a little baby node right there Here's another leaf. We're gonna follow the stem and then there's the node. So it's pretty simple I'm gonna cut all of these leaves individual and let them all grow roots so you're just want, gonna wanna cut around the node. There's the node, you're gonna cut there, and then there. And that way you have that node. Here's the second node, this one we probably left a little bit too short, but it really doesn't matter. I'm gonna cut right there. And then this guy, same thing. Same thing here. And then this last guy, has a very, very tiny node, but we're gonna try to propagate that as well. So, once you have all your cuttings, you're gonna take your mason jar filled with water. I cleaned out, rinsed it, and put fresh water in it, and you're just gonna put, make sure the nodes are submerged, but the leaf is not. So you're just gonna put it under water like that and let the leaf hang over. And that's it, honestly, it's so simple. This mason jar, if you ask me, is gonna be a little bit too big for these guys because they're such short cuttings. So let me get, I'm gonna show you guys another option. So you can honestly take anything from your kitchen. This was like a jar for something and I just saved it for propagations. So since it's a lot smaller, it's just gonna sit a lot nicer and we're just gonna throw them all in. Just gotta make sure that the nodes are all submerged. That's the most important thing. All right, so there you have it. And we're gonna check back in with this in a month. Hopefully it should grow some pretty long, strong roots and then we can plant it. So the way I like to propagate is by using these mason jars. I also use other things that are lying around the house, like as you could see, I use this Modelo bottle, so it really doesn't matter what you use, but the one thing that I do suggest is writing the date on it so you know when you propagated it, especially if you're gonna be doing a video on it like I did. And I get these little mason jars at the 99 cent stores. These are like actually drinks and they come with a straw, so it really doesn't matter what you use. And then like this one's just a regular mason jar. I get them at the 99 cent store. So let's take a look at some of these and show you guys exactly how it works. I think this one's my oldest. This one's from May 21st, 2020, and it is currently June 26th. So it's been a little over a month, you know, almost a month and a week. So I'm gonna pull these out and show you guys the roots that have formed. These got some nice roots. Here's the propagation. It's got this beautiful leaf, the one that I cut. 
So as you can see, I cut this and this had one leaf on it and since it's been propagating, it grew a whole nother leaf. So I think that's so cool and one of the really fun, exciting things about propagating besides seeing the beautiful roots. So here are the root systems. We actually have two, one is a lot longer. Where the roots are coming out of are the nodes that this plant had. And I really was only focusing on one node actually. I didn't even realize probably that it had that second node on the very right. I only saw this one right here and I knew that that was gonna make a beautiful root. Because that other node was in the water, it created a root system as well so I think that's pretty cool and maybe that's why it got that second leaf right there so yeah that's one of them let's pull out the other one this is a golden pothos by the way and this one I want to say the root system is a little bit shorter it's not as crazy as the golden pothos my um, marble queen pothos she's doesn't push out like the mother plant doesn't push out as many new growth as my golden one does but I really love her growth because look at it, it's, it's so pretty. It's like half green and half variegated. So I would definitely say that these roots can be planted because they're over two inches long, but you definitely could still leave it in the water longer if you're not ready. But for me, I'm probably gonna plant these today. So yeah. So the way I'm gonna do it is plant all the golden pothos in one pot. I have a very big large one that hangs for the golden pothos and then I'll be planting the marble queen into a smaller pot because it's honestly all I have. I don't have that many marble queen propagation so it's gonna be fine. All right, so the soil that I'm gonna be using is cactus potting soil and then I, I mix in the perlite. So remember the ones I showed you in the beginning of the video? I have them right here and I'm gonna plant those first and I'm gonna kind of plant them around. Actually, I'll probably plant these on the inside because I do have some longer ones that I'll plant on the sides. But there's the first one, super long root. We're gonna put this one in the middle. And bury the node. right next to that so these will be like the center pieces and this one has that extra growth too so we want to make sure not to plant that underneath thinking it's a root all right so that's going to be the middle of our pot now i want to show you guys some pretty cool stuff that i did these ones i've kept in a modello bottle these are from may 27th and i can tell these are ready look at that long root so we're gonna plant this one and it's got a little baby growth as well. Sorry for my band-aid. I cut myself cooking the other day, so don't mind that. I'm gonna put this one on the outside. That's a really great root. So this is definitely ready to be planted. I'm gonna plant it next to that one on the outside. That's, I just pulled one out. This is like a pretty big propagation and very long roots. So we're gonna plant this and we're just gonna go around the rim. So we put the ones in the middle to make this a very full plant and then we're gonna be going around the rim. So. like a sideways one as well so it's a little tricky and there are a bunch of single ones so we're just gonna add these to the pot
So I'm gonna be using this pot. So I like to get the soil very high up and then like dig the holes where I'm going to pot them. So let's take a look at some of these Marble Queen propagations. We have this one right here, good roots right there. And you're just gonna wanna make sure you plant all the roots into the soil. So this one, we're gonna plant kind of sideways. If we planted it like this, then you'd have to make it super, super deep to plant it. If we do it like this, we can keep it kind of more towards the top of the soil. So I'm gonna make a space for it. And then just plop it in. I'm gonna make a little bit more space than that. And then I'm gonna cover it. Pretty simple. I'm gonna add some more on top. So there you have that and let's take a look at some of the other ones that I have. So we have this one which doesn't look like it's grown any roots at all but it does have new growth right here. It's the same time frame so we're going to put that back in. This one is from also the 21st and it's got some marble queens but they don't look like they're doing too too hot. It looks like the leaf <laughs> isn't doing that well, but the root system is looking really good. Um, it's at least two inches and does have a new growth right here. And then there's another one. And this is just a little guy. The leaf is not doing well at all, but it also has new growth right there. If you could see that, um, but no root system yet. So we're gonna leave that in there. Hopefully it'll grow some roots. These definitely look like they need more time, so we're not gonna mess with that. So yeah, that's actually gonna be the only thing we're really planting. Once the other ones are done, then we can add to this pot, but for now we just have one little baby plant in there and we'll add more later. All right guys, so that's the end of my propagation video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something. And leave me some comments down below what you guys thought. I can't wait for the pictus to grow because that's gonna be so gorgeous. I just love those leaves and I can't wait to check in on the golden pothos in such a big pot. It's gonna look so good, especially when I hang it in my apartment. So yeah, thank you guys so much for coming along with me today and make sure you subscribe down below before leaving and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.